Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to get started on the new cross collection. First we're going to see how to add tracks to your collection. When you open cross collection for the first time it will look like this. The first thing you need to do is add music to your collection. There are two ways of adding music onto your collection. Press the files icon on your dock. In the tree view on the left you can access any file or folder from your computer or any drive. Once you've accessed the folder that you're looking for, you can either right click and select add to collection or drag and drop the folder or an individual track on the collection icon of the dock. You see that there's now music in your collection. The second way to add music to your collection is through iTunes. If you click on the iTunes icon on the dock, you have access to your entire iTunes library. You can actually use and search your iTunes with the same look and feel directly from the cross collection interface. Here again, to add music to your collection, you can either right click on a track and select add to collection or drag and drop it on the collection icon on your dock. Another interesting feature about cross collection is the fact that you can refresh your iTunes library and the drives and folders that are open on your computer during a session. This means that you can add fresh music to your collection while you are mixing. Once you've imported music to your library, the second thing you will want to do is analyze the tracks. Under the A column, you can see the analysis status of the song. If there's a question mark, it means that the track has not yet been analyzed. There are two ways of analyzing a track, either by using the analyze icon on the right side of the search field, or by selecting a track or a group of tracks and right clicking and selecting analyze. You can also abort the analysis by right clicking on the selected track and choosing cancel analysis in the menu. We recommend you always analyze tracks before a mixing session because the analysis takes up some memory space which might impact the sounding quality of your mix. Another great new feature about cross collection is the bitrate quality analysis done on every track. Basically, the greener the face, the higher the quality and the better it sounds in the mix. Now, let's look at how to edit tracks on your collection. I've selected tracks with incomplete tags. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Preferences and select the option Save Changes in Tags. This means that all changes done on the metadata of a file will be saved on cross collection, but also on the file of origin. One way to edit a track is to simply double click on the missing tag and to complete it with your keyboard. Cross offers the possibility to toggle from one view to another. Here I'm going to switch to the media view in order to be able to make my edits more comfortably. Toggling from one view to another is very useful during a mix, for example if you are searching for a track from a large playlist. Here I've pressed on the info icon which displays all of the information about a certain track. It's also a very comfortable way to edit your tracks. Now I'm going to show you how to edit multiple tracks. Let's select these three tracks and add an artwork to the three of them at the same time. Click on the empty artwork field and then locate it on your drive. Select it and click on open. The last thing you need to do is press apply changes. You see the artwork appear on the left side. Now let's close the info box and look at a cool new feature added on cross collection. This tool is great for DJs that have a photographic memory and also can be used as a search criteria along with all other columns like the ratings for example in our new sophisticated search tool called the column browser. We'll go over this tool in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. For more information go to www.mixvibes.com